What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode and we're here to talk about the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 that you see here and specifically answer a viewer question. Now I want to do more videos like this because a lot of the viewers like yourself have really good questions that if I answer them they could be very informative to other viewers. So again, here we are with the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5. This is a two-in-1, which means that it's a tablet when you're not using the keyboard, but when you use the keyboard, it's kind of like a laptop hybrid. I don't wanna say it's completely like a laptop because there are some cons here. For example, even though we do have a laptop format with that keyboard attached, it can be a little hard to use on your lap still, unlike a traditional laptop where it's a lot easier, like the Asus CX55 you might be able to see here in the video. But moving on, we have the question from T Mitchell 4426 and they ask, should the keyboard disable when you fold it behind the screen or will you need to detach it in order for the keyboard not to be engaged? Also, cute dog. And I think this is a really good question because if you don't have this device, it's not quite obvious. Of course, if you don't have it, you might think that obviously you can fold the keyboard behind the display of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, but let's go ahead and test it out. But before we do so, I do want to thank you T Mitchell 4426 for complimenting the doggo. And it's funny that you say that because I actually call Neo the doggo too. So just a really interesting uh, relation there to what you said. So here we are with a closer look at the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5. And again, basically the question that T Mitchell 4426 was asking was should the keyboard disable when you flip it behind the display of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5? Or do you have to remove the keyboard for this to happen? Again, for that keyboard to be disabled from the tablet portion. And the answer is kind of, but not in the way that you would expect. So we're going to do a demonstration here and I'm just going to do exactly what T Mitchell is asking. We're going to try to flip the keyboard behind the tablet and this does disable the keyboard, but again, not in the way that you would think. You would think that the keyboard would still stay attached but it actually detaches because the keyboard is magnetized to the tablet at these five pins here. And it looks like the angle is just too extreme for the keyboard to still stay attached. So it automatically detaches. The other thing I found interesting here is that even though it detaches, the keyboard doesn't magnetize to the back of the tablet all that well. It does magnetize a little bit, but not enough that it would just stay in place by itself and you would actually have to hold it like this, which doesn't give me much confidence. So in that situation, we would just remove the keyboard out of the way. But there is something cool I wanted to mention about this tablet. If we flip over here, we're going to have this removable back and that just magnetizes in place. And it also has a built-in kickstand which is really nice when you're using this tablet in, of course, tablet mode. You can see that we get a nice angle there to interact with things. Let me see if I could get a better view. You can also increase this angle, make it a little more steep. That's a plus, or you could just lay completely flat if you wish to do so. So just to provide a bit more clarity, this keyboard automatically disconnects from the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 whenever we don't have a physical connection between both devices because that physical connection is absolutely needed for communication. This isn't a Bluetooth keyboard, unfortunately.